Well, Charlie, uh, uh, isn't this... Isn't this an intelligent-looking audience we have here today? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Are they really intelligent? Yes. Yeah. What are they doing here? Well, no. <laughs> Surely you don't know what you're saying. Oh, yes, I do. I can read your lips. Oh. <laughs> that burns him out a little, you know. Yeah. Well, this is a nice audience. I promise you they are. Yeah. It's nice to have an audience like this and to be entertained. Yes. Um... What do you think we should do for them, Charlie? Well, you haven't told us a story for a long time. Oh. <laughs> and you know, Bergen, you, you you do tell them so well. You do. Yes, you do. Watch him skid on that oil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've thought it over. And? I will tell a story. I knew it. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate my storytelling ability. Now, I'll tell you any story that you would like to hear, Charlie. Oh, we are in luck tonight. Uh, tell us the story of Lady Godiva. Well, Charlie, why do you want to hear about Lady Godiva? Well, I hear that she rode a horse bareback. Uh, yeah. And I just love westerns. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Charlie. I don't think I should tell you that story. Oh, come on, Bergen. After all, Lady Godiva was a nice gal. They say she'd give you the shirt off her back. Yes. <laughs> oh, I say, how'd you do, chaps? Oh, Ray, Ray, uh, what, what do you know about Lady Godiva? Oh, Lady Godiva. <laughs> I say, wasn't she the original skin driver? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a witticism, if you don't give it too much thought. <laughs> well, don't worry, we won't. <laughs> All of which brings us back to you, Bergen. Come on now, out with the story. And give it that, uh, you are there treatment. All right, all right. <laughs> yes, yeah. go ahead, Edgar. Tell the story. <laughs> Everyone just loves stories about horses, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're very popular. Oh, you've missed the point of this story completely. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was about horses, oh boy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, if you insist, now back to in the 11th century, there was a married couple. There were? Yes. A man and a woman. Yeah, what a coincidence. <laughs> I've heard of other marriages based on that same arrangement. <laughs> the woman was Lady Godiva, and her husband was a stern, penny-pinching, money-mad feudal baron. An ancestor of yours, no doubt, there you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the Earl taxed the people of the town very severely, and Lady Godiva sympathized with the citizens. She pleaded with her husband, too, about this taxation. And I, she said, oh, please, please. Was she a yodeler? No, no, no. <laughs> or are you at that awkward age? Yes. <laughs> yes. And she pleaded, please, 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 lower the taxes. Lower the taxes. Oh, what a nagger. Yes. <laughs> the people are suffering, she said. And I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't drink. Yeah, you can't act either. Oh, <laughs> Now, Charlie, I was just laying out the plot. Well, you ought to. You killed it. <laughs> yeah. To stop Lady Godiva's nagging, uh, the Earl agreed to abolish taxes if she would ride through the town with nothing on. You mean she was supposed to ride this horse down the street, uh, uh, or Groton? Yes, yes. <laughs> and to the Earl's surprise, Lady Godiva said she would do it. Aha, there's good views tonight. Yes. <laughs> and Lady Godiva luckily had very long, beautiful hair. She did. Who did? Lady Godiva. Oh, she did? Yes. Long, beautiful hair. I can tell by the way you say that, that you hate her for it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that was all she wore? That was all she wore, yeah. But the Earl was determined that no one should see her, so he ordered all the doors and windows in the town to be boarded up. But it is said that one man did peek. Yeah? Yeah. Well, and that man, to him goes the look award. No, no. <laughs> he was called Peeping Tom, and the term is still in use. Now, if I'd been there instead of Peeping Tom, the term now would be, take a good look, Charlie. You're, uh... <laughs> By riding through Coventry, Lady Godiva brought an end to the citizens' high taxes. Now, when Lady Godiva returned home, do you know what the Earl said? Yeah, he said, so what happened? The horse got back an hour ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>